Hello, baby, the best of change the best. Welcome to this video. Our topic to present today is estimates the product of three to four digit numbers by two to three digit numbers with reasonable results. Estimation is finding a number that is close enough to the right answer. Estimating is an important skill. Without estimation skills, you are not able to determine if your answer is within a reasonable range. The rules on rounding of numbers is very important in estimation. Now to present to you the topic, let's read the problem. Amy received assistance from the government and she decided to put up a show my business. Each order of show might cost 35 pesos. If there are 122 customers ordered show might, about how much will Ami earn? Let us try to answer the following question. Question number one. What did Ami do with the money she received from the government? The answer is, she used it for the show my business. Number two question, how much does an order of shomai cost? It costs 35 pesos per order. Question number three, how many ordered shomai? 122 customers ordered shomai. Question number four, what is asked in the problem? the amount of money earned in her show my business. Next question. What phrase in the problem indicates that an estimated product is being asked for? The answer is, the word about give us the estimated amount is needed. What are the given facts? The given facts are 35 pesos and 122 customers. Last question, what will you do to solve the problem? We can solve this by applying the estimating product. Now let us solve it by using the data given. In here, I am going to show you the actual product and the estimated product. Let us discuss first the actual product. So the given here is 122 and 35. 122 is our multiplicand and 35 is our multiplier. Now the first step is multiply 122 by five. We will regroup the answer when the product is 10 or greater. So let's begin. Five times two is equals to 10. The product is 10, so we have to regroup the one. Let's write first the zero, then regroup one to the tens place. Five times two is equals 10, plus one is 11. So let's write one and regroup again the one into hundreds place. Five times one is equals five plus one equals six. So in partial product, we have 610 as the result. Now let's go to the next multiplier, which is three. Let's multiply, let's multiply three to the ones. 3 times 2 is equals 6. 3 
times 2 is equal 6 again. 3 times 1 equals 3. Now, we have another partial product, which is 366. Add both the two partial product. So, 0, there's no number under it. So, just bring down the 0. 1 plus 6 is 7. Write 7. 6 plus 6 equals 12. Write 2 and regroup 1. So let's add 1 plus 3 equals 4. We have an actual product of 4,270. So we are done with the first. Uh, we are done with the actual product. Now, let's go now to the estimated product. First rule is round off first the multiplicand and the multiplier to the highest or greatest place value. Then multiply the rounded numbers. Okay. In 122, the highest place value is hundreds. Then assess the, assess the number on the right. If it is greater than 5, within 5 or below 5. Since 2 is below 5, the number 1 will remain and the rest of the number will replace, replace by 0. So it becomes 100. Now, let's go to the multiplier. The highest place value here is tens. Now, look on the right number. Assess the number. It is within five. So, you have to add one to the three and replace the five by zero. So, it becomes 40. So now, let's begin multiplying the number. 0 times 0 equals 0. 0 times 0 is equals to 0. 0 times 1 is equals to 0. We are done with the first multiplier. Let's go now to the second multiplier. Now, your answer should be put in the tens columns. Okay, 4 times 0 equals 0. 4 times 0 is equals to 0. 4 times 1 equals to 4. Now, let's add the partial product. So, bring down the 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. And bring down 4. So, we have a pro estimated product of 4,000. So, now, let us look on the result. In the actual product, we have 4,270. An estimated product is 4,000. As you can see, it is very close to each other. The estimated products product is so close to the actual product. Now, let's have another example. 194 times 21. And now, in the actual product, if you are going to multiply these factors, the 194 and 21, it will give you a first uh, partial product of 194 when you multiply 1 by 194. And you will get second partial product when you multiply 2 by 194. And you will get a total actual product of 4,074 by multiplying 194 and 21. Now, if we are going to look for the estimated product, you have to round off first the multiplicand. 
the highest, look at the highest place value here, which is in the hundreds, assess the tens or the number on the right side of the number, if it is within five, greater than five, or below five. Since nine is greater than five, you have to add one here. So, and uh, replace all the numbers by zero, so it becomes 200. 21, here, 21, the highest place value is 10. Look at on the right side number, which is one. One is below five, so it becomes 20. You don't have to add one because the number next to it is less than five. Now, let's multiply here. There is a shortcut actually in multiplying zero. If the number in the, in the multiplier is zero, all you have to do is count all just the number zeros in the multiplier and the multiplicand. Then uh, multiply only the uh, the number which is not zero. So here we do have in the multiplier we have one zero. In the multiplicand we do have two zeros. In your final product, the three zeros should be reflected and multiply the other number and write it here. So you have one, two, zero in the multiplier multiplicand, reflect it in the final product, then multiply two times two, you will give, it will have a result of four. So you have 4,000 4, in your estimated product, which is when we compare it to the actual product, it is so close. So it, it has 4,074. Okay, now. Now remember, to estimate the product, round each factor to its highest place value, as we did a while ago. Number two, multiply the rounded factors or multiply the non-zero digits and annex the number of zeros as they're in the factors to the product. Thank you for listening. This is teacher Maribel T. Alatan. Till next time, God bless.